Hey everyone, this is James from Build Tune Race, and today we're gonna go over the burnout from Cletus and Cars at the Freedom Factory. We had some destruction, we blew up the transmission, it was a big mess, I got stuck in the corner, and we're gonna go over some things and see if hopefully we can make that better. After getting Bernie back, we've already ordered a bunch of parts and they are on the way, so in the next few videos, we're gonna be doing some upgrades to Bernie. So let's get into it, let's check out this clip. Uh, this is a helmet video from the GoPro that I have mounted on the helmet as I do burnouts. So here we go, from outside of the truck, got the uh, other GoPro on, gotta do all the filming for you guys. Hopping in the truck, of course, putting the seat belt on. We might end up putting a better seat in the truck that holds me in a little bit better, and uh, so I don't move around as much, but for right now, it's working out okay. Getting ready to go. This pet was set up a little bit different. It's pretty cool at the Freedom Factory. They had like an entrance and an exit, so you were always queued up, ready to go in. So it made it real quick. They were rolling through cars really quick until you broke and they had to push you off, which you'll see in a little bit. Rolling up here, you know, Cleet's over there doing the intro for everybody, which is really cool. Everybody rolls up, he kind of does a little intro on them, what the vehicle is, uh, as much as he knows, and then get ready to go. The crowd gets all hyped up, and it's pretty awesome. We have a real fun time doing this. So, uh, the burnouts are amazing, and the crowd and the energy and everything's insane. I think I had some wires kind of bugging me or whatever, so I went ahead and moved those. He sends you off. So we go ahead, start out in first, power glide two speed, just in second, nitrous comes in, and we go ahead and roll in here. Truck was about 145 when we entered into the pit. Truck rotates really good, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there. So on the tip-in, I was trying to go a bit quicker. Brent did an awesome, really fast tip-in in the ministry machine in Houston. So I was like, okay, I gotta add some speed to my tip-in. So that's what we did here. Got the wheels rolling, kind of just holding the brake just a little bit and letting the truck cruise in there. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it as quite as aggressive as I did. Actually, I would like to have been a little more aggressive here because I still only ended up about mid pad and I was kind of shooting for over towards the other corner, but you really don't know when you're cruising in really fast and when the truck rotates, is it gonna rotate once, twice? How far is it gonna slide? Well, with the way the suspension set up on the truck being stock, the truck really body rolls. And you can see in this picture, the truck leans over real hard, kind of pivots right there, and then it shoots me off into the next uh, portion of the burnout. If you watch some burnout bells from Australia, it's pretty crazy because some of them cars come in, they slide, and they slide all the way into the barrier. Some of them land up on top of it. It's a really crazy deal when the tip-ins do not go as planned. So it's definitely tip-ins a big part of the skill on these burnouts. So that's what I'm working on, trying to get better and better at tip-ins. I really enjoyed this one. I think it was really good. It had a ton of smoke, had a good amount of speed. We ended up in the middle of the pad. I'd like to have went a little bit further but that's part of learning it. Sometimes the pits are deceiving how far you uh, think you're in there or how far you're gonna be in there once the truck spins around. So go ahead and keep going. Uh, truck comes out of there, goes over, does a nice loop again, point it in the, that direction so the truck starts going that way, great, and then it rotates here. I was hoping it was only gonna rotate to about, you know, to shoot me over to the other corner, but it kind of over rotated. So I come around again, and right here, you can hear the RPMs drop. I should have, kind of let them keep coming down, get control of the truck, and then point it in the direction. But I end up getting back into it, as you guys can see. And then nitrous comes in, it over rotates again, and I kind of get stuck going into this corner, and this is, this is where it sucks. So uh, I wasn't too happy at this point. But right there, I think as I rotated around, that's where I should have been like, okay, let the, let the throttle come down, let the truck go to the left a little bit, and then as it got ready, then get into it. And the truck continues to rotate to the right. I'm trying to stay in the throttle, you know, listen to the Aussies watching those burnouts. You're trying to stay in the throttle, keep up your smoke volume, keep everything rolling as much as possible through the entirety of the burnout, not just in it, out of it, turn, go over here, do a burnout, go over here, do a burnout. You're trying to stay in the throttle the entire time. And just the control of the truck gets extremely hard when you're talking, you know, 150, 160 mile an hour worth of wheel speed and try and get the truck to go where you want it. Uh, it's like you're on ice out there at times. So realize that the truck is not going to go left. I'm pointed out the wall. I think I need to try to whip it now if the truck wants to keep going that way. And that's where it finally kind of stopped. Want to go left, it want to go right. So I was pretty much stuck. I tried as much as I could to lock the wheel over and then I just start going closer and closer to the wall. I'm trying to work the brake. I'm trying to get the truck to rotate around. 
and it just doesn't do it. Like looking at it right here, you know, every time I grab it, it's like it wants to go to the right. Uh, I let out of it, kind of goes to the left, but either way, it wasn't going to be enough to get the truck to rotate out of that corner. And unfortunately, I got stuck, and this is where things start to go downhill pretty quick. So the truck, I, I'm shaking my arms, I'm mad, I just, I'm frustrated right now at this point, I don't know what to do, I'm like, in my head, this is, I'm, don't back up, and don't let out of it, just keep going, but I'm so mad, I'm like, no, you're not going to win, but you put on a better show for the crowd, for the pay-per-view, for everybody there at the Freedom Factory, I just wanted to do a, a better burnout, put on a better show, so I was like, I'll just let out of it. Now knowing everything that happened and breaking the truck, I would have just stayed in it and popped tires. I mean, everybody gets excited when the tires pop. It was a pretty good burnout up to that point, but uh, not what I was hoping for it to be. So I'm frustrated. I put the car in reverse. I actually put it into neutral, revved it up, and then right here, I put it into reverse. The tires, as you'll see on the truck, are already bald. They're completely gone, pretty much. They're smooth and... I go to back up while well, everything else and all the loose rubber and everything, it, it was slick out there. You'd think that it had a little bit of grip, but it had none. So when I rolled into it, the truck actually started going reverse and it sm felt smooth. Like it didn't, I didn't feel any drivetrain vibrations or anything crazy. And then I got a little aggressive and boom, there goes the transmission. So I pretty much, I think I almost revved it all the way to, you know, the rev limiter. And now thinking about it, the night just probably came on based on RPM and throttle position. If it was high enough, uh, yeah, the night just probably came on and blew up the transmission. Either way, it was going to blow it up. You shouldn't, I mean, going in reverse, that much wheel speed and everything else. No load against it. Maybe it snagged finally, and then that's what blew it up. Uh, either way, the transmission is completely destroyed. As you guys seen in the last video, it's in a ton of pieces and parts. No big deal. We got a backup one we're going to be putting in. Bernie. Uh, so we can make it to, to the next burnout competition. More on that here in a minute. So we get out of the truck. It's really cool. Everybody's excited. Everybody's screaming. Uh, the, like I said, the energy around the pad, the smoke volume already is just crazy around the truck. It's super cool. Take the helmet off and, you know, toss her in the back of the truck as everybody pushes my broke burnout truck off of the pad, unfortunately. And that's pretty much the burnout and going over everything. So some things that I learned also from this burnout, I don't think it was turning as much as it should have been based on, I probably had too much tire pressure in the front and the front tires on this truck are really, really small. So that's one of the things I wanna to try to change and upgrade and make better on this truck. There's not a bunch of burnout professionals out there. I mean, there are, there's some in Australia, but just trying to figure it out also with the truck. Uh, what the truck needs, what it wants, what fits on it and everything else and trying to help this thing turn. So we're going to be changing that up. If you look at the tires, they just get packed with all the rubber out there. And then I added air pressure because I seen a picture where it looked like the tire was rolling over really hard. And I was like, well, if I go in too hard, I don't want it to roll over and hit the rim or DB the tire. So I'll add some tire pressure. Well, now knowing that probably wasn't the best idea because it needs to roll over on the tire to help like drag it out of the turn. Now with it being just kind of a hard balloon, even though it's turned, it's just sitting there sliding it itself into the corner and not giving me as much control while still keeping up wheel speed. So it's pretty crazy that we're doing all this work and trying to figure out all these technical ways of building a burnout truck to do the best burnouts we can. It's really interesting and I'm loving it. I'm excited to have one of the best burnout machines in the US and hopefully one day head over to do Australia and do some of that. That would be insane uh, to go, you know, compete with the best of the best in the world. Burnout stuff is extremely fun. Skids in Australia, of course. So now a lot of you have asked, are you going to be making it to Indy? And gosh dang it, we're going to try. There's a whole bunch of parts ordered. That's the reason for kind of this video. I wanted to go over everything with you and we're waiting for parts right now. So as parts start showing up, a few have, but I'm going to make you guys wait. And once we get all the parts, we're going to go over everything, all the plans to upgrade Bernie. Uh, probably not like a V2 of Bernie, but like a 1.5, just trying to upgrade all the things that we haven't upgraded yet on the truck. Try to, uh, you know, hopefully maybe get a little bit lower to the ground, put some better tires on this thing to help it turn, and a few other little things to uh, just clean up the truck and hopefully make it the best burnout vehicle we can for right now. And I'm extremely excited. I know you guys are. I know you guys love the burnout stuff. We got a ton more burnout stuff coming. Over the next week, we need to try to get the transmission out of the Camaro into the truck along with the upgrades, verify everything's good, try to do a test burnout. Hopefully everything's good. And then we got that like 16 hour drive to Indy to go do another, you know, hopefully minute to two minute burnout in front of a massive crowd to help put on a show. 
So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying all this stuff. I know I'm, I'm loving it. The burnout stuff is absolutely incredible. And that's a little look inside my mind as I'm going back through the videos and the burnout from the last one. If you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.